so much of what is institutional religion is about maintaining the status quo. It's set up so people can feel smug and satisfied with their lives. And often you see it in congregations and groups of people as they get together, where, where what's really they're talking about is the way they live their lives and they're quite happy and everything's happy and they're giving thanks to God and you've got this triumphantalist approach to life. And I've never gone along with that because I've always seen religion as being for the battlers. It's the strugglers. It's the ones who come face to face with their own inadequacies and weaknesses and, and vulnerabilities that religion really is about. Because when you're in those points, you're really struggling yourself. And so I've always been a bit turned off by the Pope's washing of the feet. You know, you have that great celebration with all the gold and all the, the bells and smells and all of that sort of stuff. And the cardinals, and he washes the feet of the cardinals. And I always thought, well, you know, they don't need their feet washed, they're there anyway. But what about the people who are really struggling? I shining as the sun. And so, what began 30 years ago as a protest against, you know, institutionalised up itself religion started because I really wanted to wash the feet of the most homeless and lost people who came to our Loaves and Fishes restaurant in Ashfield. <laughs> Imagine Jesus using plastic gloves. Oh, God. And my congregation, the lovely old ladies in the congregation, they said to me, because I said I'm going to wash all the homeless people's feet, and, and the old girls looked at me and they said, are you going to wear your robes, Bill? And I said, no, no, I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it, which is just people sharing. And so the first time we opened the restaurant up, and I said to the guests who came in, I'm going to wash your feet. And of course, everybody looked, my feet? I'm not going to have my feet washed. You're not washing your feet? Yes, I am. I'm going to wash my own feet first. No, 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 no. Sit down. No, Sit down. No, it's all right. Come no, on, this is, special, right. this is special detergent in there that'll clean your feet. So I've sat down over 30 years and I must have washed thousands of feet. It's all right. Take your shoes off, babe. Come on, take your shoes off. And what I've found is the washing of the feet of the poorest of the poor is the most humbling experience you can have. As they sit down and they have their feet in the water and you start washing their feet, they tell you their stories. I've never known the comfort that comes from people from just having their feet washed. Now, of course, some of them haven't washed their feet for quite a while. So we have to make sure we, we put all this, this detergent and stuff and, 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 you know, disinfectant in the water so that the, the water's quite OK. Oh, that feels good. Good? <laughs> What's your name? Tom. I'm Bill. Good. I'm Bill. Bill. Good on you, Tom. Are you with the church here? Yes, I'm the minister here. Oh, I thought Bill Cruz. Oh, you're Bill Cruz? Yeah. And they say, oh, you've got to wear gloves. And I say, I can't wear gloves. This is actually touching skin. And so we have people come in and they tell me these stories. And you get people who have been drug addicts who have, who have injected heroin between their toes. They're off it now, you know. You get widows and they start talking about how lonely they are. And I cannot tell you the number of people who have said to me, Bill, now I want to wash your feet. I want to wash your feet. And I find myself really humble because they come and they sit down and um, wash my feet and dry them. And it's magic. It is just magic. And I find that for years afterwards, those people and I have this special relationship because we've washed each other's feet. What I find is it is the most meaningful experience in the world to wash feet. All people's life experience is in their feet. And as you wash their feet, 
and the, the experiences start to move from the feet back up to the brain, into the mouth, and then you share an experience which is truly holy. Do you want to get your feet washed? Come on, mate. Sit down. Food good?